With that, COVID numbers are coming down. Both the city and state have peaked. Now the questions are getting louder. When will we see some loosening of rules because of it? The drop. CBS 2's Chris Ty is live now in our Streetside studio without doctors and judges are now weighing in on this. Chris. Brad, it's a downstate judge who may decide as early as next week whether or not millions of Illinois school kids will need to continue to mask up when they go to school. All of this as the city's top doctor says the decision to unmask Chicago to her feels like a spring thing. This is tricky messaging. The message from the city made clear Wednesday that Omicron has peaked has given way to tougher questions on when we'll get a peak of old life. It is getting better, but it is not better yet, if that makes sense. To make some sense of it, the newest numbers, over 200 hospitalizations every day in Chicago, 2,819 new COVID cases daily, still very high, but down 50% from last week. Changes to masking rules won't, though, be measured in weeks. This conversation that I'm having about eventually being able to take the vaccination requirement off, uh, eventually being able to take masks off, Will, is that in our future? I absolutely expect that it, that is in our future. Is that in our future imminently? Absolutely not. Um, I'm hopeful that sort of by the spring we'll be in that place. But some want to speed up the unmasking, namely in Illinois schools. The strained interpretations of Emergency Management Agency Act. 144 districts, including many big names around here like Naperville, Lake Forest, and Hinsdale, have been named in a suit trying to strip the state and districts from being able to require masks. Masks and close contact quarantines are necessary. Some thought the judge could issue a ruling today, which might impact masking as quickly as tomorrow. The judge, though, saying... That ruling is going to take time. It will not be before next Friday. The Omicron curve is moving in the right direction, and it's moving fast. But moving around policy too quickly, experts say, could upend progress. We won't come down as quickly and as effectively. The hospitals stay full. It takes longer to sort of get to that point where we all want to get. That lawsuit downstate is in Sangamon County. There's actually two cases before that judge. One is a group of parents arguing their kids shouldn't have to be masked up. And another is a group of teachers arguing they shouldn't have to be masked up. An army of lawyers from both the state and the districts named are also in front of that judge. We should hear news on that late next week. Live in the Streetside studio, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Big fight ahead. Chris Ty, thank you.